intuitive eating example, waiting for that bagel to finish. Yeah, when you're hungry and you're waiting for your food to heat up or something, are you impatient? Well, yeah, you're probably kind of hungry then. That's good. You want to be super hungry when you eat. You don't want to be just, hmm, maybe I could eat. You want to be like, let's go. Because then you have the most hunger. Now, I'm not talking about getting to that hangry stage where you're just grumpy and miserable and you, you know, pick a cracker up off the floor. I'm not talking like that. I'm talking about, you know, when you're delightfully hungry, which is what I am right now. I'm having some coffee with a bunch of whole milk in it and uh, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, I've slathered on the cream cheese because I like it like that. This is that fluffy kind of cream cheese that I get at a deli. It's, um, so it's just really good. Any of you guys in uh, Cincinnati, it's Mark's Bagels. You know how good they are. Okay, let's. All right, here we go. Next time you're eating, take notice of what the first bite tastes like. I know. It's always the best bite. It's always the best bite because your body's hungry and rewards you for the effort you took to get your food together with just a really incredibly joyful and delicious and satisfying experience. So notice that. And then as you're eating, okay, so like that was just really good. I love this. I really do love this cream cheese. I'm not sponsored or anything, but just saying. It's so good, so I'm, I'm sitting there with it, and I'm really hungry, so obviously taking another bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Second bite's still really good. Mm. Put my whole body kind of like celebrating lots of saliva. I know that's gross, but it's just true. And um, yeah, feel so happy and calm. And you may say, oh, bagel, that's a lot of carbs. Yeah. A lot of carbs. I just took a little bite to even it up. There's a lot of carbs and a lot of fat. I don't care. I think all that, all that noise about you should eat this way or that way. This is what I eat and my body is, is it's at its happy weight, has been for a long time and I feel great. So, you know, I don't want, I don't want a, a smoothie. It's cold out. I don't want that. I, I mean, some protein thing. No. I don't want that. I want this. Um, I'm not saying it's not important to kind of look for nice food. I mean, these are bagels that are made, you know, locally. I think the ingredients are pretty good. And, you know, you had to try not to eat trash, total trash. But, okay, so I'm this far through the first bagel, the first half. And already, already I feel that my body is still enjoying it. But it's not as, it's not as bright. It's not as bright. It's still really good. And this is really good. I'm letting this run because I want you to feel how long this takes. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take long at all. That's when people are like, well, I'm working and I can't. It's really hard to eat something to eat. I know I'm a quick eater, by the way. Some people really aren't. I, I just like, sometimes I'm with someone who eats really slowly, just naturally. And people are just different. It's just funny. I wolf food down. I don't care. I like to. It's my personality. I live with it. But, um, well, I'm going back to saying, like, if someone says, well, it's so hard for me to get something to eat, a few bites of something, I mean, unless you're like a, you know, I don't know, like an, Olymp an athlete or someone who's burning so much fuel all day, you know, it doesn't take much. It takes a few bites of something calms hunger down pretty quickly. So, you know, if you, like I always have food with me, I always have it in my car, so I never get caught. So I never eat preventatively because I'm never worried that I'm not gonna have food. And right now I have a bunch of um, nuts from like Costco, that big thing of nuts, I have that in there now. Mm. I usually, lots of times, have pretzel nuggets, but I don't have any more. Anyway, so you just sit there, yeah, so how long, this video is not very long. I don't know, five minutes or something. Yeah, I mean, it would literally, if I was really trying to eat quickly, it would take me 60 seconds to eat what I've just eaten. So don't let your schedule screw you up. If you need to put a little something in your pocket and sneak it and eat it because you, you're not able to, you know, get food when you're hungry, then do it. It's worth it. I mean, I think I've always said, I think nurses in an ICU situation that's hard because I know it's sterile and all that, but in general, or anyone who works somewhere with lots of rules and stuff, 
about contaminants. But for most of us, oh, something in your pocket takes you a long way. Okay, I'm afraid this is getting really boring for you guys, but how much am I gonna eat of this? I'll show you. I'm gonna turn this off because it's boring, but okay. And I also wanna point out, which I have lots of times, is that if you like coffee with milk in it, put the milk in it. Don't be, oh, I'm all keto and I can't have anything. Oh, don't live like that for God's sakes. No, just have some nice coffee with milk in it if you like or whatever. Anyway, all right, so this is how far I am into the second one. And I feel myself very much slowing down. Now, before you get all worried that that's, oh, only half a bagel or I'll probably eat a couple more bites maybe. I don't know. I think I could maybe be done now. And there's no, there's no willpower here. There's no nothing except for me going, hmm, it's not nearly as good now as it was a couple minutes ago. I mean, it's not nearly as good. And I, I am a real big believer in saving food. So, you know, if you don't finish it out. So this won't heat up that great later, but... On the other hand, I'm gonna be home working and later on, I know, if I, if I feel calm right now, which I think I pretty much do feel calm, and my hunger sauce is, is pretty low. And remember, again, before you get worried that it's not a lot of food, I'm an older lady, smaller person, so my, my needs are gonna be different than yours. You may need more than what I had served. It's, or you know, you may need a bagel and some more stuff. It doesn't matter. The amount doesn't matter. Like, don't let my ma amount mess you up or think, oh, Oh, half a bagel. Eat when, till your hunger's quiet. And it's going to be specific to you. And again, I mean, when I was younger, I would have probably eaten more. I would have been still hungry. And that's the other thing I want to say real quickly. For you guys worried about gaining weight when you're older, I haven't gained weight at all. I've lost, if anything, a little bit of weight, I think, because my muscle is diminishing, which is just the way it goes. That's okay. Um, but it, if you just key into intuitive eating um, principles then when your body needs less food, it gives you less hunger and, and you're aligned with that. And it's not sad. It is not sad. It is so joyful to be, to be the grown up in the room here and to be like, food has zero control over me. Like that little thing, like years ago when I was a dieter would have been like, oh, look at it. Nothing, absolutely nothing. It's, it's a great part of life to not have food and all that have power over you anymore. You don't need to live like that. You do not need to live like that. You need to become an intuitive eater where food is not the enemy. You get and you stay at your happy weight for the rest of your life. I've been doing this for 24 years after being a dieter for 25. I can't believe I'm almost doing this as long as I was a dieter because boy, this is so much more fun. <laughs> and I'm healthy and strong. My numbers are all good. I have some carbs and fat for breakfast today. Who knows tomorrow, but it's delightful. And if you want help, intuitive eating with Meg, Dot com and I got help for you there and I will I need to say this more because I, I mean it from the bottom of my heart if you truly can't afford our little online course is $29 that I poured my heart and soul into email me I'll work with you I'll help you okay have a great day enjoying your food and your life because life is short and food is amazing and you deserve to be amazed by your food